Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to take a simple storage bin and turn it into a mini hydroponic box. So we're going to turn this into a mini herb garden using a Doja's automatic feeder reservoir sub-assembly kit. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is prepare your box. And what we did is we took the lid and we drilled holes for our net inch pot. So you'll just want to drill holes whatever size net pot you're using. Um, you can use a circular uh, bit to do that if you want. Um, so that's what we did. We drilled four net pot our holes for our net pots. And what we also did is we drilled a bunch of little tiny holes. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. Around the sides on each corner. And that's just for twist ties. What we're using there is just to hold our um, hosing that's going around the inside ring. And then you also want to drill a quarter inch hole in the back for your wires to run through. And they're going to come out right there um, and then maybe about a three eighths to half inch hole for your water level sensor switch and you're going to want to position your sensor switch about halfway between where your pump level switch is and your water fill line so that'll give you a decent indicator when water's getting low give you enough time to refill it before it runs out the electronics are pretty simple we just uh, plugged in our bottom water lever sensor switch which this one sits on top of our pump to protect it here's our uh, warning water level sensor switch we're going to use this to get an alert when the water's low um, this one to the left is when water's at empty so empty low water and then here's our pump and that's pretty much the only connections we need what we've done is we've taken a doja's automatic feeder reservoir sub assembly kit and um, we've glued the pump to the bottom of a, a, a normal just kind of storage tub and from our 3 8 inch outer diameter quarter inch inner diameter tube we've just shoved in a quarter inch outer diameter landscaping tube come to a T connector to split the water pressure out and then we're just going into four nozzles that are spraying upwards um, if we need more pressure we can add another pump what we're going to do though is we, we're going to put the lid on top and we've drilled four circular holes to house uh, our net pots. And so we're gonna put our net pots in here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn this on and make sure that the medium is actually getting wet from underneath. Otherwise we may need to run a, a line up on top and do a drip from the top. But I think it looks a heck of a lot cooler if you're coming up from underneath and it gets a lot more mist up underneath in the roots if you're spraying from underneath as well. So let's go ahead and get all the net pots in and then we're just going to turn it on and make sure we've got the flow we've got before we go ahead and uh, put this guy into action. So we've got the cycle set to run for a couple minutes uh, on and about three minutes off I believe. Um, so what I'm trying to look for is to make sure this top medium is getting moist from what's spraying from up underneath and if that's happening then I know that I've got what I need to start a, a hydroponic setup from seed. Okay, so I've let it run a few cycles, and um, as you can see, or I guess you maybe you can't see this, but if I touch it, it's moist, and that's what we want. We want all of these to be moist, and you'll have to adjust the head, or sometimes it helps if you push some of the medium down to the bottom of the pot so the water sprays right on it. But if you can get them moist after, you know, maybe run it five or six cycles, um, or ten, or however long it takes, as long as it gets moist up here, then you can seed it. So we've got our seeds planted. Um, they should sprout here soon. We'll do an update video once they start coming up. Um, we're not going to add nutrients until they leaf, leaf a little bit and then we'll add nutrients. What I like to do is uh, let it run with the lid off for about an hour or two outside on a cycle and make sure the pressure stays the same. That'll make sure you're not getting any uh, clogage on your intake valve um, out the gate. Okay, so that's how it's all connected. I'll just show you how we set it up real quick, the profile for this, um, because it runs on a cycle, not like a trigger like some of the other devices we've set up. And I'll show you that right now. This is the mini hydroponic box we just set up. Um, we've had him running for a little while. As you can see, he's already been cycled for over two hours and five minutes, and the cycle we have set up for this one is 120 second run time with 240 second idle time. So that's two minutes on, four minutes off. And we can adjust that, or you can adjust it as you see fit. But um, going into a profile, what you would want to do is click a new profile. We named it Mini Hydroponic Box. 
Um, all you've got to do for this is set up a the pump channel one here to operate on a cycle. And so for this cycle, there's the two minutes on, there's the four minutes off. Um, and then deploy, you'll notice your checkbox here. This part's ready to go. Now for our water level sensor switches, uh, we're going to set up a switch right here. This is going to be our dead stop switch to protect our water pump. We're going to actually set it to send an alert. Here's the alert message hydro box out of water. And we're going to protect uh, this motor pump we set up when it switches. So you can leave your switch logic normal and deploy that and you'll be okay. We're not going to trigger anything. We could trigger something if we wanted to refill the reservoir. Um, we could trigger some other output if we wanted to do that. For our second water level sensor switch, we're going to plug it on these left two pins here. Basically, we're not going to protect or we're not going to trigger. Um, we're going to keep the switch logic normal and we're just going to send an alert. And the purpose of this water level sensor switch is just to warn us when the water level is getting low. This other one here, that's protecting the pump. So that's basically water empty. This is our warning. So we have some time to get to it to refill it before, we, before it's empty. And that's pretty much it.